So the Outlaw Pass dropped today. The Halloween Outlaw Pass, I should say. And it's 20 levels. You could really call it Outlaw Pass 3.2, considering it was 20 levels taken off of our last Outlaw Pass that was supposed to be 100, but was 80. Um, the bottom line is, I don't think there's anything surprising here. It's pretty much, it was all leaked. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's uh, tertiary stuff, camera filters, emotes. The, the, the coolest clothing is the clothing you see, which is like the blindfold, the wraps, and then... You know, like the horse masks, really. Like, it's 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 exactly what you'd expect it to be. I think if they had done it in conjunction with the other stuff they'd done last year, it could be kind of impressive. I'm sure Rockstar's going to have some more modes that come out later on, but I don't know. I, it's just kind of meh. Like, it's just... Uh, Red Dead Online just has this mehness about it that I think that, like, if you first get in and it's new, I think the novelty can keep you kind of entertained for a while, but there's no end game, and there's not really a reason to kind of invest and stick around. Like, you're sort of just grinding gold to buy, like, fashion accessories for your cowboy Ken doll. And, uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I mean, I know I'm really burnt out on it, but it's just... I don't know, it's hard. It's hard for me to be excited about this. But I, I guess what I wanted to do is, rather than kind of like like treat it like it's content because to me it's not it's like it's just like a halloween sort of collection of items to attach to your character i just figured i'd grind and fly through it as fast as possible so i could show you guys what it's all about so uh, i ended up activating some of my coupons uh utilizing them to get myself up level and then i also ended up like uh going to see nazar and selling a bunch of collections to get to 20 as fast as possible so uh, while this is going on in the backdrop you can kind of see it Earlier today, they had an issue where your experience wasn't even contributing to the role, so I thought that was pretty funny, but uh, they've got it fixed, so interesting for Rockstar to fix a same-day issue that doesn't relate to players making money. But um, I, I don't know, like, I can't, I can't criticize them too harshly for this, other than I just feel like it's just, it's still a splash in the pan of what we need and what we want, but it's something new, like, people dig it. I think, like, the machete and the blindfold are cool. Like, I grabbed everything. I pretty much used all the coupons I got. I, uh, zoomed as much as I could. So I, I don't think it's the worst, but... It's just, like, anyone who's collected stuff, anyone who's put the time in or, like, has collections is just gonna burn through this in the same day, and then you just have everything. And it's, it's not bad, but it's, like, no matter what you do... It, I, it just doesn't seem like it's enough to me. Like, I feel like it's not, like, my ability to do this isn't isn't sp specific to me. I feel like so many of us have, like, the Outlaw Pass is appealing because it's so much, and then you have 20 levels at 1,000 XP. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's easy to crush. But, uh, so I got, I got up to level 20, like I said. I got all the content. Um, I went to my camp so I could check everything out. I hit the mailbox, and I found that I had some Griffith Chaps, uh, which I end up not showing in this video because I already cut it, and I'm recording separately right now. I won't even get into that. But uh, some other clothes along the way that uh, you will see. I actually like the hat and the blindfold. I just think that like it doesn't, it just doesn't feel very Halloween esque. Like the only thing I can say is it's better than what I expected for the Tuesday because barring nothing else, at least we still got we got a new pamphlet which I'll talk about, which I think is stupid. But we got all this like, extra stuff as well, like rewards for previous week's hunting or your naturalist hunting, as well as all these items. So it's. It's like it it's like it passes. I just wish there was kind of more going on. I wish I had more style, but I think I just feel that way about Red Dead Online as a whole, you know? I I I just feel like the direction they're taking it feels slow and delayed and kind of imprecise. It feels like they're sort of just wildly kind of trying things. Like I don't know, like I don't even use the machete that often. Like I I'd never bought the alternate machete. I haven't even purchased the lance knife knife even on discount. Like I don't particularly care. So I mean, you, you put the effort into allowing us to customize our weapons, and then you give us weapons that we can't modify? Like, it's just, just weird. Just weird choices. Just weird choices, but uh, not bad. Uh, if you're wondering what it looks like in use, you get a taste here in a moment. I don't really go in for these because I'm predominantly a solo player, but here are the photo backdrops. I thought it was kind of neat, but also kind of underwhelming. I, I also feel like Rockstar does this thing a lot where they sort of show you all these foreground props and stuff, and, like, you don't really, like, I don't know, I just don't feel like you get the same access. It was the same with, like, uh, the Naturalist Camp. Like, the picture of the Naturalist Camp shows you a backpack and all this stuff around it, and then you buy it, and it's a fire in the middle of nowhere. But here it is. Here's the big payoff. Here's the, the spoopy moonshine manor shack shit show i i like it i just i i raised the same 
questions and annoyances that I always did, which is just like, it just doesn't serve a function. Like, I, I don't, I, there's no reason for people to be in the moonshine shack with the exception of grinding dailies. And the reason to grind dailies is to get gold. And the reason to get gold is to buy passes to get con. Like, do you, you know what I mean? Like, you want to buy rolls so you can unlock new content for you and your friends. Like, I, I don't know, I had, they've also returned server sizes to large, so at least you can counter other players now, but the irony of that is that, like, the other content has stopped working, so encounters aren't spawning, so it's just like, it's like this back and forth where no one can be happy, and I just feel like the game lacks an intuitive cohesion, like, I had this moment today where I approached this guy at his camp, and he was kind of just chilling out, and I wanted to, like, bring supplies or something to to share with him, like, 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 cook something on the fire, or, like, like, have, like, a, like, a moment where it was, like, kind of, like, a peaceful exchange, or what have you, and it's, like, you could roleplay that, but it's, like, I don't know why the game can't facilitate it, like, I thought about how neat it would be if it was more of, like, a survival experience, and it was, like, somebody showed up at camp, and they actually had, like, some meat to put on the spit, or, like, if everyone could contribute a little bit of animal meat to, like, a stew pot, like, like, there, there are good ideas, it, they're just so shallow and unexplored, and it's just, like, that's so much of the Red Dead online experience, like, I... They're, like, good ideas, but they don't interconnect, they don't interweave, they don't... It's like your roles, like, there's no cohesion amongst the roles, they just work simultaneously, like, it's not... I don't know, it, it's the same with, like, you fantasize about a criminal underworld in Grand Theft Auto Online, and all you're really doing is just f moving different freight shipments of drugs. And then, speaking of taking copious amounts of shape, uh, freight drugs, like, why would you want to pay 12 gold to be an opossum? Like, I, I, I didn't mind buying the first couple, because I got the discount, but I have not bought any since. Anyways, here's the emotes. Fuck Harriet, fuck the naturalist role. Really think it's backwards, I think it's one of the worst additions to the game. So again, you get these emotes for free, but I I really feel like emotes are another one of those things that while they add to the experience in the short term, I feel like they're not doing it intelligently. Like, what they should have is emotes that interact, like two-player emotes, like high fives, hugs, slaps, fist fights. Like, 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 the drunken interactions in the Moonshine Shack is brilliant. It's old, like, it's not a new idea, but it's new for Rockstar, and it's really, really clever and interesting. And when someone has, like, a, a cool high five or a fist bump, and you don't have it, and you and your buddy are like, shit, we should get that too, that sells. Like, I don't fault Rockstar for being greedy, I fault them for being shitty at being greedy. Like, it's oh, it's just it's painful. It's painful. These emotes are cute, but they're dumb. I don't give a shit. They don't feel westerny to me. They don't even feel that like horry to me. I I don't know. It's just weird. And then here are the horse masks. I thought these were okay as well, but it's just like like knowing about all the content that's coming doesn't make it better or worse. It just kind of feels samey. Like it's just like great. We're here. Like. Is everything I'm doing just killing time till Cyberpunk? Like, Jesus. Like, thank God Tarkov updated to 12.8 yesterday. I've actually got an update that's interesting, like, gameplay to check out, things that are interesting and relevant to me. Like, this is just so, like, there we go, look it. Look it, there's a bunch of new themed crap you can have for free because everyone's got too much gold because it's easy to make gold. There's your Halloween update, Rockstar!